Yeah, I think there are a couple of them. First of all, we can provide a, a much better connectivity experience for the for the industry, and it's not just for the for the for the passengers. It's also for predictive maintenance purposes, for IoT uh, scenarios, and so on and so forth. The second one, basically, is that the rail industry can become much more sustainable. So, of course, per definition, rail industry is is a sustainable one. But let's say because of a much better usage of the infrastructure they have, so trains can run much closer together, so you can simply put more trains on the same track. This provides a significant increase in the in the usage of the infrastructure and therefore it becomes much more sustainable because you don't need to build up new tracks. The term for the future is really FRMCS. That's where the industry is looking into. And basically, it contains two major technologies. For sure, it's what we call 5G, right? So it's the, it's the mobile piece, which provides a significant improvement for the rail industry compared to what they have today. And the second piece is really the backholding, the IP MPLS topic, because then you get a very flexible, very uh, multi-purpose uh, infrastructure where you can put a lot of applications on this infrastructure, which you can't do today. What the rail industry needs to focus on and what we can provide is that we start with an incremental cybersecurity feature set of our product. So make sure that the product itself you are using is, is, is highly secure. And on, of, of, of course, on top, you can also build up uh, another layer of security. So there are a couple of additional features and a couple of integrated uh, topics which the rail industry need to take care of 